guys, this is Sue with Rage and Apathy, and I know you've heard me mention Amp Kit for my iPhone. What about for my Mac? Yes, it has just come out. Actually, I think it may have been out for about a week now, but here it is. Ah, uh, look at all this gloriousness. Uh, these are just some basic presets. Um, you can set up your own. You just hit the little plus button and go to town adding effects you can put an EQ on there can put uh, some distortion on there whatever you want to put on there you can change out some you know you can change out the heads you can change out the cabinets um, you know and I'm just picking some really weird combinations here but you can yeah you can kind of do whatever you want you can you have almost an endless combination of bases and cabinets and uh, I'm sorry, not bases, heads and cabinets and effects that you can put together. One of the really cool things is when you're done playing with that, you can actually go into your cabinet and change your mics around. On axis, off axis. Got some pretty cool stuff. You've got a ton of presets over here. Um, I haven't found a bad one yet. But you've got a ton of presets and if you start messing around with the preset... <laughs> and you decide you want to change something on it, um, what it's going to do is it's actually going to create me an automatic copy of that. So I'm not messing up with the original preset or I'm not messing up the original preset and I got a clean slate to start with and kind of play with and, and mess around. Um, that is an awesome thing. You can of course set favorites and record. This is a really nice feature as you can tell. God rest you merry gentlemen. The uh, heavy metal Christmas project is in full swing right now. Got a couple of guitar lines lined up for that. Got to pick out the best take. And I can also line these up by genre which is great. Um, I've got a built-in tuner and I'm in tune which is even better. Uh, these are my gains. This is my input gain, my output gain, so I have a little more control over that. I have, these are my levels of course, and then going in here I've got my jam and I've got, uh, it's coming in from the Apogee Jam of course, and I'm going right through my computer speakers. I've got my device gain, which would be the Apogee Jam, and I've got my preset gain, which goes into the uh, actual setting that I'm on. I can shape solo or I can shape it as a mix. There's a little bit of a difference. I'm not sure if you can hear that on the uh, on this audio. There's the mix. And there's the solo. Um, and I can actually, while I'm on the amp, everything's set up pretty much the way you would expect it to be set up if you were running a rig. You've got your volume drive, presence, um, you know, each head is set up with what's actually on the head. You can move the sliders. You've got a rhythm channel. You've got a lead channel. Okay, you've got uh, a couple of them come with, uh, you've got a break button. Whoops. You've got a crunch button. Okay, so you've got all kinds of cool stuff. It's set up exactly like the amp head it was designed to emulate. And same thing with the effects. The, the effects are set up to actually operate like they are an effect pedal sitting in front of you, which is a great thing because it's intuitive as a guitarist who's been playing and who has survived the days of, of the pedals. Um, you know, it's it's set up the way I would want it to be set up because it's set up uh, just like the equipment and, and the gear that I learned to play on. Now, we've also got the dreaded metronome. We've also got some backing tracks, some drums and backing tracks and stuff to, to, to mess around with to play against. Here's the recording feature. Um, everything's pretty self-explanatory and pretty intuitive. It's, it's great, you know, for, for somebody who's recording at home 
A lot of us record at home these days. For someone who's recording at home, even if you're recording in a studio, this is a great setup. You've got so many amps, so many cabinets. You can play around with different mics. You can plug straight into the board, get a nice clean signal. It's really a great piece of software. Um, one of the things that I, I mean, I used to actually do uh, some jazz gigs with my bassist, Aaron, over at signal to noisefm and we would go out. I would have Bandit and Box loaded up with some backing tracks. I would have, uh, so I think I actually used Amplitude Live at that time, but I would have Amplitude Live on my, uh, on my laptop, and... I would pretty much do kind of like a one-person show if I was doing a solo gig or when Aaron and I were were playing out together, we'd have kind of the rest of the band with us and I would have my effects and I would just plug straight into a small amp or straight into the PA even. Sometimes I didn't even take an amp. I just plugged into whatever PA was available in the house. And I see um, a lot more flexibility with this than the softwares that I used to use for amp modeling and just a lot better sounds. I just really, having, having gone back to some of the old, the old amp modelers that I used to use, uh, on my, on my laptop here and bringing, you know, checking it out against amp kit, I just really prefer the sounds. Um, and of course these guys, Brad and the crew over at, uh, Agile Partners have, have done their due diligence and and really set up a great piece of software, very intuitive, very easy to use. Guys, I commend you for 50 bucks. You can't do much better because it's basically your entire setup. All you need is a guitar and a way to plug into your computer. So run out and grab the software. It's really a great piece. Brad and Agile Partners, kudos. Great job yet again. Um, and if any of you caught my interview with Brad, this is apparently the big surprise that they were talking about. So um, I am surprised. I am loving it. Thank you very much, guys. This is Sue again at RageAndApathy.com, and I will see you very shortly.